What's going on everybody, my name is Ivan and this is Backyard Effects, the DIY internet show where we teach you how to create special effects on a backyard budget. As you guys can probably tell, this is not Indie Mogul. While recreating the scene from the original Spider-Man 2002, I was in need of some web shooter effects. Which brings me to Indie Mogul. I had a bit of nostalgia, decided to redo, redub a new take. If you want to catch out that original tutorial, it is in the description down below, or stick around. White acrylic paint and paintbrushes, wooden dowel or skewers, parchment paper, twine or any white colored string, hot glue sticks, Hot glue gun, aluminum or tin foil. Don't forget to grease it when putting hot glue on this. First, we're gonna plug in our hot glue, get it nice, hot, and ready. Lay out your parchment paper like so, your twine, and your wooden dowel that has been pinned white. I forgot to record that. We're gonna lay the hot glue over like so. Don't forget to let it dry, flip it, and repeat the process. And there you go, you have a solid web line and a super flexible web line. Now we're going to craft a little web coupling. As you can see here, I'm crumbling up the tin foil, aluminum foil. I recommend not doing this. I recommend placing it over a round object. That's going to make it a lot easier when removing the foil from the hot glue. Don't forget to grease it. For grease, I just use some avocado oil. Similar to the Harry Potter ones, you're just going to draw your design. As you can see here, with the solid thing of aluminum foil, it's a little bit hard to get the hot glue off, but I managed to do it. Drawing the hot glue on a round surface is a little bit too difficult. You could totally go ahead and draw it flat right on the parchment paper or aluminum foil. You'll get something like this. Hot glue on the parchment paper peels right off. You guys don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about getting an even coating of hot glue or keeping it super neat. The messier the better. It's going to give a nice organic feel to the web. And here we have our real life spider webs. There you guys go with a few simple, easy, cheap DIY steps. You guys have your very own spider web prompt. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. This isn't my normal style of video. This is solely based as a recreation of indie moguls. Check out the original tutorial down below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video.